It's a big week for the US, so let's have a look at how the precious metals are performing in response. Phil Carr joins me down the line to discuss. Phil, since the summer of 2011, when it peaked at $1,900, the price of gold has fallen almost 40%. But based on expectations of the ECB to print billions of new euros in a bid to boost growth across the continent and stave off deflation, there has been the suggestion that gold has bottomed out and will enter a new stage. What do you think? At the moment, if we look at gold and we go out to the much larger time frame, the overall primary trend of gold does remain very bearish. But we are at a point where we are being supported by key levels, which we came and capitulated at right at the end of December. In fact, the last day of December, which is very typical for the gold market, we did see a sell-off. We came down, we tested the 1,100 and 67 US dollars an ounce level, we capitulated 280 points. And since then, we've had three, we're at the three week highs for gold at the moment. With analysts saying there is nothing to stop the dollar train at the moment between the FOMC meeting minutes and jobs report, what is your short term price outlook for the yellow metal? The US dollar um, is definitely one to watch right now and we'll be, we'll be monitoring it very closely on the non-farm payroll tomorrow. Interestingly, the minutes of the FOMC yesterday um, did also provide some support and additional acceleration for the, the US dollar and really helped it to break out to, new, uh, to nine year highs here. So we see uh, that the officials of the FOMC, they do see a rate rise as being unlikely before April at the moment. Uh, there is also a lot of uh, talk just regarding the current situation of uh, the oil decline. If you actually go over uh, to the oils complex, we can actually see at the moment that uh, the gold to oil ratio is currently at highs, which it's not been at since 1998 on the current downward trend, which we have on crude oil prices right now. Elsewhere, after a surprise move in November, the Indian government do not intend on implementing any further curbs on gold imports. How do you think this will play into the complex? That is uh, it's an interesting uh, question. The, um, the Indian government, yeah, they removed import restrictions for gold, but they've actually maintained their increased duty costs. So we're not seeing that really play too much into the metals complex at the moment. It's not had a huge impact. In fact, if we go over to the numbers of imports last year, we saw 151.8 tons of gold was imported into India in November, but then imports fell in December to 39 tons and around 7 tons so far in January, which have been explained uh, via imports, which were high in November because companies were preparing for tighter restrictions, which haven't occurred. We're not seeing that affect the uh, the metals complex at the moment. What I would definitely note as we are coming into mid-January at the moment is a lot of uh, gold traders need to have on their calendar the Chinese Lunar New Year because that will be from February the 18th to the 24th. Silver prices declined in futures trade today after speculators reduced their exposures amid weak cues from global markets. According to some analysts, short positions in gold, silver and mining stocks are currently justified from the risk-reward perspective. Phil, do you agree? So I would say in the shorter term, um, we're starting to form a little bit of a bottom here for silver. I think in the short term, as well as gold, up until mid-February, we could rally to the upper trend channel here, which would see silver get as high as $19 an ounce. But then overall, for mid-February, I see silver falling back within its overall trend channel to the downside. So for those uh, longer-term investors, um, yes, there is that. it is a wise move to continue to stay short in a much larger, bigger picture for silver. But in the shorter term, for those trend traders and day traders, Silver at the moment looks like a short-term buy. Phil, absolute pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you for your time. So how will those NFP figures turn out? Well, stick with us here at Ducascopi TV for the latest market reaction. Goodbye for now.